All right, guys, so let's talk about the top 13 data entry related work from home jobs that don't require a college degree and don't require any talking. All right, these are going to be jobs that are relatively easy to get into, typically don't require a college degree or previous experience. And let's jump into it right after you gently cheers the like button. So first one on the list is going to be an image review clerk. And this is somebody who basically ensures the quality and accuracy of images. And these are often going to be in settings like government agencies or private companies that require meticulous image processing and data entry. And it's almost like being a digital art curator with every image being a masterpiece that requires your keen inspection. And this job is a perfect fit for the video because it basically caters to detail oriented individuals looking for work from home opportunities that require no verbal communication or advice advanced degrees. And that's basically going to be every single job in this video. Now, image review clerks make about $39 to $54,000 a year. Jobs typically aren't going to require a college degree or previous experience. Here's some job postings. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. But yeah, this is a pretty good one. Obviously, uh, none of these data entry jobs are probably going to be jobs you're doing for the rest of your life. These jobs are designed to just get your foot in the door, get some experience, pay the bills, and then later on, you're going to move into a better job. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, I just want to let you know that I'm going to be doing a free training on how to grow and monetize your YouTube channel. And it's going to be on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. It'll be a live interactive Zoom call with me where I can answer questions that you have about YouTube. And I'll also be revealing the five biggest secrets when it comes to growing and making money from YouTube. And this is what you can do to either add a couple thousand dollars a month to your income or even grow a full time income purely from making content on YouTube. And when I started out on YouTube, I was working as a pharmacist full time. But within a few months of starting, I was getting messages like this in my inbox. And all of a sudden I was adding thousands of dollars on top of my full time job. Now, if you want to do the same, make sure to join the live training because I'll also be giving away a free mini course only to the people who show up to it. This is not going to happen anywhere else. There will be no replays and there's limited seating. So make sure you sign up by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And I look forward to seeing you there. Next is going to be a risk research specialist. This is somebody who meticulously analyzes data to identify and assess various risks. And they're typically going to be working for financial institutions, insurance companies, or in corporate settings that require risk evaluation and management. Now in this job, it's actually pretty well paying. And it also leads to a lot of other really good jobs down the line. And you make about 75 to $124,000 a year. Now this one doesn't necessarily require a college degree. The companies that do want a college degree usually don't care which one you have. However, it does typically require some previous experience. So you can search for entry level roles in something like risk analysis or data analytics, get some experience there and then move into this position. Here's some job postings for you. I'll put them up on the screen. So yeah, this one is really good, obviously, because it's a little harder to get into at the entry level, I'm gonna have to dock some points. But overall, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a records coordinator. And this is somebody who basically meticulously organizes, maintains and secures both electronic and paper records. And you're basically ensuring ensuring efficient storage, retrieval, and compliance of those records. And you're commonly going to be employed in sectors like healthcare, education, and for the government. And you're almost going to be like the librarian of the corporate world, ensuring that every piece of information is in the right place and easily findable. And records coordinators make about forty-two dollars to $60,000 a year. Now, this one, you can definitely get into it without a college degree or previous experience. It's also relatively easy to get into. You can also take some online certifications in medical coding or health information management from reputable sources such as the AHIMA or the AAPC. So yeah, this one relatively easy to get into. There's a lot of jobs available in the healthcare industry, which I've said many times on this channel, there's lots of different random little niche careers that are related to healthcare out there. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a freelance transcriber. Now, I know that everyone has probably already heard about transcription a million times before. So I'm not going to get into too many details on this one. But honestly, transcription is one of the easiest ways to make money online. It's not the most glamorous job ever. It's probably not something you want to do for a long period of time, but it is a relatively easy job to land. There are tons and tons of reports of people who make money doing transcription on various websites like Reddit. And in this job, you'd expect to make about 41 to $61,000 a year. Here's some job postings for you. I'll put them up on the screen. So yeah, this one, I know it's not super glamorous, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Related to 
this one would be translation. And this is basically where you would translate some sort of online media into a different language. Now, Mr. Beast famously took his channel, he made a bunch of other channels in a bunch of different languages, and then he translated and dubbed all the videos from his channel into those other languages. And this ridiculously increased his reach. And now he might be the most famous person in the world because of it. So yeah, you can make a lot of money doing this for YouTube channels, for instance. And by the way, if you do want to start a YouTube channel yourself and just make money directly from YouTube, which honestly, that's going to be a better option, definitely in the long term, you can click the link down in the description or the pinned comment below for some free training. And I do actually coach a few people every single month on exactly how to grow and monetize their YouTube channel. But I'm very picky about who I coach because I have limited time and I spend a lot of time coaching each person. So if that's something that you'd like, it'll be in that same link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below and you can check it out. But yeah, translation is also pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a chart retrieval specialist. And this is somebody who meticulously collects and manages medical health records from healthcare providers. And they basically make sure the information is secure and accurate so that other healthcare professionals can check it out. And they're predominantly employed by hospitals, clinics, and insurance companies. Now, chart retrieval specialists make about forty-one to $57,000 a year. Here's some job postings. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. It's relatively easy to get a job. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a scout for D scout. And this is basically something where you delve into user experience and product testing. Here's a person on Reddit, for instance, that made $2,700 on D scout. And they basically send you on what are known as missions and each mission you can make about 25 to $150 from. So this is a little bit more of a side hustle than a full time job, but you could do this part time and make some extra money from it. Here's some job postings for you. I'll put them up on the screen. So I'll go ahead and give this one a six out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment down below if you like some of these or you don't like them, or there's other ones that you think I should have included. And there's a good chance I'll include them in a future video or go into more detail on them. Next is going to be a remote chat operator. And this is somebody who engages with customers via text. And they're typically involved in customer service, inquiries and sales. And a lot of the time you'll be employed by companies in e-commerce, retail, telecom and other service industries. And chat operators make about 36 to $58,000 a year. So yeah, can be a good one to get into, relatively easy to get into, typically doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. Here's some opportunities, I'll put them up on the screen, you can pause the video and check them out if you'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, some remote chat operators are actually secretly kind of salespeople. And if you wanna get into a much more lucrative sales job, tech sales is my main recommendation for you. So I've helped a bunch of people get into tech sales and I've interviewed them on this very channel. For instance, Abdul was able to get a really good 70,000 plus dollar a year job job as a 20 year old. And there's actually some free training on exactly what tech sales is, how you can get into it and whether or not it's a good fit for you. And I'll put that free training down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And you can go ahead and click on it and just check it out. Next is going to be a data specialist. And this is somebody who is responsible for extracting, managing and analyzing data. And then you're going to help with creating reports and maintaining databases and companies across sectors like tech, finance, healthcare and retail hire these types of positions and data specialists make between 52 and $85,000 a year. Now this one typically does prefer if you have some some work experience in a background such as IT, statistics, or something that is data related. It really helps if you have data visualization skills as well as knowing Python and or R. Additionally, it would be great if you built a portfolio to prove that you have the skills that they need. So yeah, this one's a little bit harder to get into. Typically doesn't require a college degree though. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a payment posting specialist. And this is somebody who meticulously processes and reconciles payments. And this ensures accuracy and efficiency in financial transactions. They're most commonly employed in the financial and healthcare sectors, and they deal with payment and adjustment postings. And posting specialists make about 39 to $55,000 a year. So yeah, another one that is easy to get into doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an order entry specialist. And this is somebody who is going to be inputting accurate customer information into a database. So pretty simple one, you make about 38 to $52,000 a year. Don't need a college degree or previous experience. Very easy to get into. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a data integration specialist. And this is basically someone who harmonizes random messy data into a coherent structure. And this empowers organizations with insightful, actionable data. And they are vital in industries such as healthcare, finance, and retail. And data integration specialists make 90 to $137,000 
$1,000 a year. Now, this is definitely not an entry level job. You'd probably start off at a lower level data analyst type role first. They typically don't require a college degree, although some places will say that they require one. You can usually just go ahead and apply anyways. And some tools that you'd want to familiarize yourself would be ETL tools like Informatica, Talend, and SSIS, database tools such as SQL, Oracle, and MySQL, and scripting languages such as Python or R. Here's some job postings for you. I'll put them up on the screen. But yeah, this is a really good one. Harder to get into, of course. But I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a sports data operator. Now, if you've ever seen the movie Moneyball, this is somewhat closely related to that. Very good movie. Highly recommend watching it if you haven't already. And basically, in this position, you are going to be attending sports events and collecting live data and providing crucial real-time information for sports analytics companies. Now, this could be for the teams themselves. A lot of the time, it could be for betting platforms. And if you're one of those people who likes watching sports anyways, this could be a dream job for you. And sports data operators make $47 to $75,000 a year. Now, typically, in order to get into a job like this, you either need some entry-level experience or at least an internship. But with that being said, they don't necessarily care if you have a college degree or not. It does help a lot if you're familiar with Python, R, or SQL. And you can utilize platforms like Coursera or Khan Academy to learn these. It also helps a lot if you have a portfolio hosted on a website like GitHub. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like. And yeah, this one's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I did make a video recently where I went over five of the best data entry related work from home jobs. It did go viral, got several hundred thousand views. People absolutely loved it. And I included other jobs that I didn't include in this list. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.